Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Traveling with Jose. I'm Jose, and for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the best things to put into a military care package. So guys, a military care package, uh, an important part of a military service member's life, uh, believe it or not. Uh, it's, it can be the difference between a good day and a bad day. Um, you know, it can boost morale, definitely. Uh, I've been there. I've, I've wanted to receive packages and I didn't, or I have received, I had received uh, care packages uh, and they were filled with a lot of good stuff. Something that shows uh, that service member, your loved one, uh, that you care for them, that you're thinking about them. So in my case, guys, I was stationed on a couple different Navy aircraft carriers. So I would have these packages sent from home in Virginia all the way to maybe a ship in Japan or uh, when my ship was also in Virginia or out to sea somewhere in the middle of the ocean. In no particular order, these are some of the things that I think you should include into your care package. I'm gonna start with uh, number one, Tide Pods. Yes, yeah, so as service members, we go through a lot of different uniforms, uh, clothes that needs to be washed. You know, we have limited space on an aircraft carrier, so we want a, something easy, something lightweight, a Tide Pod, perfect, just throw it in there. Uh, Non-perishable goods, if you can send beef jerky, if you can send tuna cans, Campbell's soup. Ramen packages have become a little bit more uh, elaborate with a lot of different um, uh, specialities, right? So there's like the Korean spicy ramen, they're just the regular uh, shrimp noodle ones, chicken flavor, whatever it is. Uh, put ramen in there, something you know that's non-perishable, something that will last a while that they can also uh, put to the side and store. You know your loved ones, so you know uh, what they like best. You know what they prefer, uh, whether it be Snickers, uh, Twizzlers, Jolly Ranchers, whatever. Uh, you can send them candy, a lot of different assortment also as well of candy so that I don't get bored with one thing. Okay, so toiletries, things like toothbrushes, mouthwash, floss, toothpaste, uh, in maybe regular form or uh, travel size. That would also be good because if that service member does already have that product, maybe they want it in travel size so they can store it somewhere. Uh, maybe they run out and last minute, you know, they can use what you have sent them. At least for me, I know that I had times where like, I was tired of the movies. I was tired of, you know, socializing. I was tired of studying. So I wanted something to read that uh, was of interest to me. Uh, books are a good idea or magazines. You know, you know your loved one, the types of magazines that they would enjoy. So day to day, of course, you know, you gotta go to the restroom. Toilet paper and or wet wipes come in handy. Uh, and if you are going to send wet wipes, make sure they're the flushable kind, just makes it a lot more convenient. Uh, you know the drill. A lot of the uh, restrooms on a aircraft carrier don't already, don't work. So putting in wet wipes that could clog uh, toilet on an aircraft carrier, not good. Uh, whether it be AAA or uh, AA. And I know this is something that I've, like, I've, I've experienced. I've, uh, one of the things that I had was an electric razor. Uh, and it wasn't the type that you charge. It has, it uses, it used one, it uses one double, double A battery. So I remember that I ran out and um, that was my favorite way of shaving. So batteries, pretty useful. So of course it's important to stay hydrated on an aircraft carrier. Uh, so having a water bottle handy is uh, always great. I know I went through a couple water bottles, either I lost it or people stole them. But a uh, water bottle in your care package, that would be great. You know, they, they make simple kinds of water bottles and then more elaborate ones. Like I have one that like tells me uh, the temperature of the water and um, it also tells me like when my water has been in that water bottle for like over 10 hours, something like that. So, you know, different kinds of water bottles send something like that. Uh, also mugs for coffee. I know I went through a couple mugs because I always lost them or um, misplaced them or somebody stole them again. So uh, mugs, important. I, I know I couldn't start my day without coffee. Uh, so on an aircraft carrier, we have to wear um, shirts under our uniform. And so it, the, only this part of the shirt will show, but it's a dark blue color. So if you're in the military and you know your loved one, it's, it's the regular dark blue Hanes shirts that are always good. Uh, if you know your si the size of the military member, just send them uh, a couple of pairs because we go through those shirts like crazy. And if you're gonna send socks, send um, the sweat resistant socks and make sure they're black in color. So at least in my case, I like to uh, style my hair back with gel. So I always had hair products with me and when I would run out, I would, I actually, I remember running out of hair products 
and having to periodically just put water in my hair and comb it back so that I would stay in regulation. I always like having hair products with me. If you know your um, loved one uh, likes to style their hair or women as well need hair products, uh, send them something that will be useful. A way for you, of course, to relieve stress is by journaling. If you can send your loved one a journal, either so that they can write in it or uh, study, you know, using that journal, uh, that would be great. Maybe if you put letters inside that journal, maybe if you put photos inside that journal, that's another idea. So on an aircraft carrier, when you go shower, you want to wear sandals. It's, pre it's pretty gross not to use sandals when you go shower. Uh, so many people shower in the same place. You don't want to walk in there without your sandals on. And it's happened where I've broken my sandal and I have to MacGyver it just so I can use that same sandal just because I didn't have another pair. So an extra pair, always great. And you never know when you're going to need it. So sandals, believe it or not, come in handy. Another thing, if you could pack uh, nail clippers, you know, we have to stay in um, regulation with our nails, believe it or not. So if they're too long, you know, you're gonna need to cut them and you're not gonna, if you don't have your nail clippers and you need to be in regulation, you don't wanna have to be like biting your nails off so that you're in regulation. Or uh, in my case, which one time I actually, um, I misplaced or lost, I lost my nail clippers. So what did I have to do? I had to use a scissor to get into uh, regulations with my nails. So another thing that comes in handy is Velcro. Whatever the situation is, uh, Velcro does come in handy and it's something to just kind of sneak into that box and then uh, have that service mem member later uh, realize what they're gonna use that Velcro for. So we have a clinic on the ship, but you know, sometimes you have to wait in long lines or sometimes they run out of the stuff that you need. So like if you could send a first aid kit, that would definitely come in handy. I've had situations, you know, where I've gotten a cut and I would have liked to have you know, Neosporin on hand, a band-aid a band -aid on hand to cover up uh, my bleeding. So first aid kit, put it in the box. Another thing, so when we're pulling into port, right, and we go to tropical areas or places with a lot of sun, uh, you know, so we're like, let's say we're in Greece, we want sunblock. Uh, and it's, you know, a little bit more expensive to buy or it's something that maybe we forget. Uh, sunblock will come in handy, trust me. If you could put it in a travel size, that would be good too. You know, of course, with all the electronics that uh, are allowed on board, you know, your phones, your tablets, your computers, sometimes you lose your charger, sometimes your chargers break. Send them like an iPhone charger, send them a, a USB-C charger, USB charger, whatever it is. It'll come in handy, they can have it, um, ready for whenever. It's annoying to have to ask to borrow someone's charger, you know, because maybe they'll need it. And I've, I've myself run into that situation where I've had to ask to use a charger. So send them a charger, it'll definitely help. Referring back to losing a charger or not having your uh, phone charged, you know, I use my uh, phone for an alarm. If you can send um, a digital alarm, something small, something cheap, you know, that they can have the time on and maybe put it by the rack put it um, close to them so that they can hear their alarm, just in case you know their cell phone doesn't work anymore either. I've had situations happen to me where I've needed an alarm clock. I've either had to stay up to charge my phone to use the alarm, or haven't been able or was not able to use my phone as an alarm and had to ask somebody to wake me up because I didn't have an alarm. So you see how annoying that is? If you can, if you can send them like a small little alarm, something that will wake them up, that will be helpful. I don't know if you guys thought of these ideas, of these things to send to your loved one. These are things that through time, I realized that I needed or would have loved to have been sent in a care package. Um, and you know, if anything, ask your loved one what they need. Tell them that you're gonna send a care packet. You know, surprises are good, but sometimes they just need to know that you're thinking about them. And a care package is a great way to let them know that you're thinking about them. For them, it's a morale booster. You know, maybe they have, they've had a stressful day, stressful week, stressful month. If they know that you're gonna send something meaningful to them, they're gonna appreciate it. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, and if you uh, liked what I said in this video, please leave a thumbs up. Until the next video, take care, bye.